This is not financial nor professional advice. This video is for entertainment only. Hey everyone. The last two weeks has been an event. It's been an event, a recurring event. You might be waking up each day feeling like you're in Groundhog Day because it keeps happening over and over again that the market is really being driven by the giants of the markets. The FANG stocks, which includes Facebook, Apple, Netflix, Google, and usually Microsoft is thrown in too because it's such a major stock. And be sure to hit that like and subscribe button so they receive future videos and so that I can continue to punch out the material you want to hear and your liking it indicates to me that you're liking what you're hearing and want to hear more of it. And if you want to hit the dislike button, go ahead and do that. That I, I need the feedback. Help me to help you, as they say. <laughs> This week, we had like five companies, uh, major companies report earnings, but it was foreshadowed by the previous week, and that was Netflix. And Netflix, uh, in the middle of about not quite two weeks ago, uh, fell hard, okay? It went down like 120 points. It was like 300 and some, uh, and it came down. It eventually, it's ending up at around 200 when it was well over 300. Uh, they think the problem with Netflix is that they have a lot of competition from Apple and from other streaming services like Disney. And also that they paid too much for their content. Some of their content has major stars in it and they paid a lot for that. And the thought is they should have got less well-known actors and actresses, such as uh, the unknown starlet that they ha cast in Queen Gambit, Queen Gambit, which turned out to be quite a hit and w went over well with Netflix viewers. And that's the kind of content they want. Uh, something that's, that's good, but doesn't cost, you know, excessively. Then around Tuesday of this week, Microsoft and Google reported, and Microsoft reported wonderful earnings. I think it was either A or A+. Plus. It must have been A+. Plus. At least their guidance was good, too, I, I believe, and, and the market responded well to that. And basically, Microsoft held up the market in the, in the early part of the week. Google... Uh, Google's earnings were good, uh, but there were some concerns. Their YouTube ad revenue was uh, less than they thought it should be. Uh, so I, I would say Google turned in like an A minus report. Uh, but Google has a 20 for one split coming up and that should help it in the future. Uh, I, I expect it under any normal market, it would recover, but there's factors with this market why Google's being gobbled up in the general negativity of this market. The next fang to the rec rescue was Meta Platforms, previously known as Facebook. Its symbol is still FB for uh, Facebook. I can't help but call it that. But they came to the rescue on Wednesday. Now, this is a case where Facebook's previous earnings were so bad that they lost like a, a third of their value, okay? Uh, they went like from the 300 uh, to 200. And now this report, I, I was ready to short it, uh, but I, I wanted to wait just because this market is so uncertain. I thought it would be mediocre and and the good news is it was it was it was good earnings generally okay at least they didn't lose followers like like the previous uh, quarterly report showed that they had, had for the first time lost 100,000 viewers and they were expected to gain maybe a million viewers so at least this time they didn't lose any viewers but the report in many ways was not that great, but it, I think it's an expectations game. 
everybody like me was expecting them to continue losing people and they didn't lose v v more viewers and so that ended up being good news and so facebook came storming back on thursday uh, facebook was humming along uh, in the 200s and it ended up around 205 uh, which, you know, it's it's sort of an amazing recovery from the dead, but it's, it's still significantly wounded. <laughs> and Thursday, we had the two big Goliaths, Amazon and Apple. Amazon came in with increased expenses that reduced their earnings. They had the first losing earnings report in eight years. <laughs> okay, so they're taking a major hit. Uh, they were going down like 9% last time I looked. Uh, Apple came out with a sterling report. It was wonderful. It was an A-plus report. But in the guidance for the future quarter, they mentioned that the China shutdowns because of the health problems is leading to their having diff some difficulty getting chips, or at least they're anticipating that. And so the market didn't like to, to hear that because if Apple is having problems, everybody's going to have problems because you've got to assume, or at least I assume, Apple would have some preferential treatment because of what a big customer they are. So uh, it con it concerned me that Apple came out with a wonderful report, stellar report, and the reaction after hours was, oh, well, you said there might be problems in the future. You're going down. It went up seven points before it closed on Thursday, and it went down four points in the after hours. And so again, it's the expectations game. In Apple's case, they had positive expectations that they were probably going to beat earnings. And, and so it wasn't that big of a surprise that they had a good report. But this was a, a wonderful report. And I think this just points to, to the difficulties with this market. And I'm going to go into those uh, in uh, some detail in the next video and tell you what I'm doing about it. Uh, for now, I'm kind of holding off. Uh, and, and watching the show, uh, but I am going to take some action and I'm going to talk about the negative factors in the market, why I'm not impressed with it, and what I'm going to do about it. Thank you for watching and listening. Be sure to like and subscribe and hit that notification bell if you want to be notified for future videos. And I will see you in the future. Thank you.